thank you very much, Jan, for inviting me. Thank you for coming so early in the morning to, to listen to the presentation. Thank you, Autodesk, who mentioned us yesterday because they are one of our partners and we can also very much recommend, we can only recommend the program. It's, it's, it's uh, very valuable to us and we're using a lot of technology, a lot of, lot of software from them. So what I'm going to talk about today, what, I, what my, my goals are, is uh, to present you the small wind turbine market. It's there, it's still small, but it's growing steadily. And I also want to explain, to introduce you to, to, the, to the topic, to the technology we at Embrace are covering. So my goals would be actually to have small wind turbines on the slide as well next year. To give you a brief feeling of how our industry looks like, I mean, the environment is pretty, pretty, pretty nice, pretty decent for us. Um, renewable energy is this, this no miracle, it's, it's growing steadily. But also what, what also the guys from E.ON um, told last day, uh, yesterday, is that the consumer is moving towards the center of energy production. Decentralized local energy is growing and developing massively during the last couple of years. And uh, photovoltaics, for example, is, is one huge pillar already, which generates a lot of energy on a local level. But why, why do we need uh, another energy solutions? Why do we need small wind? Well, the potential is huge to, to harvest energy also from low wind speeds, from small wind speeds, from decentralized solutions. But um, regarding the slide, um, the colleague from the German um, invest, uh, what is the organization called? <laughs> Trade and Invest um, company uh, co um, showed um, in uh, the photovoltaic cells are just producing energy during the day. And what we aim to do with small wind turbines is level that energy production out towards the whole day and night and also generate energy in the winter. Although small wind turbines are not very common so far, especially in Germany, um, it's a growing market worldwide. So far, uh, the, the associations um, think that around 10,000 to 20,000 units are installed in Germany, which is, which is quite a lot. Uh, but the, uh, the, the, the biggest markets, the lead markets worldwide, are the US and especially Asia. So the associations um, think that around 150,000 units were installed during the last couple of years, and a couple of the associations expect the market to grow heavily, currently growing with 30% compound annual growth rate, um, amounting up to a 2 billion in revenue by 2020. So what we do, or what we did in that market environment is approaching the topic small wind from a kind of completely new perspective. Because the potential so far is what we think is not fully used. And we believe that, that this is basically due to a couple of reasons, not only economics, but also regarding design, and also um, regarding usability, image, and design and, and, and marketing communications behind the turbines. We focus on a control technology which reduces the costs on the turbine. Um, we have rotor blades which are very efficient, I'll show you in a minute, but we also focus on design. And what you can see in this picture um, is that we saved um, the minimum radius of the, um, of the, of the rotor blades. Not to um, not only to reduce uh, the manufacturing costs, but also to make the turbine look much slimmer, much lighter, much more sophisticated in design. Our core technology is a control mechanism, a control system. What we found out in our research at university level was that we need to um, decrease the rated power, the rated wind speed by around seven meters per second in order to build the turbine much lighter much uh, smaller, have smaller components, and ultimately make it cheaper. That's what we did by developing a technology which limits the, the power and the forces on the turbine very precisely, very wear-free, because it's just mechanical components, no electronic components, and it's also very cost-efficient, because it's easy to build components. Um, what we found out um, now is that this technology is also applicable to other fields. Uh, we were talking to a big wind turbine manufacturer who are very interested, but also um, regarding water turbines. This technology has definitely a competitive edge. To give you a feeling of, of what we are able to, to reach, of what cost, um, cost uh, saving potential we are, we are able to fulfill. Um, 
couple of compo uh, components in the, in the turbine. For example, the, the control technology plus the hub, the rotor blades, the inverter, the generator. And overall, we are able to slim down these components by the factor of five, enabling up to five times lower turbine costs. Um, we had a nice um, cooperation with a turbine um, designer, company spin-off of uh, DLR, and um, developed a rotor blade together with them, and it turns out it's, it seems to be the record-breaking um, um, rotor blade in the small, in the small wind industry. So far, on average, the turbines producing at an efficiency of 20 to 30 percent. Simulated, our, our rotor blade has an efficiency of 53 percent, which is a lot. Um, we expect it to be around 50, uh, 40 to 50 um, points of efficiency in, in field tests. To put it in a nutshell, we're focusing on economics with the control system, but also with efficient rotor blades. Market potential is our ultimate goal, to increase the market potential by a low cost, even in low wind speeds. We're also focusing on operations. Um, easy installation is one big topic, not only for for costs, but also for enabling more and more customers, more and more users to install small wind turbines. We have no noise emissions since we are reducing um, the speed of rotation, and we focus on a sophisticated design. To put that on a curve with, energies, uh, with, with energy costs, um, in a small series, we expect the energy costs to be um, around 20 to 30 cents, in high wind speeds even lower, but what we are ultimately going for is mass production, big series production, and we currently have a project running asking for prices uh, in Asia. And it seems to be that even in low wind speeds, we are able to produce energy at around 10 to 15 cents per kilowatt hour. In decent wind sites, we also would be here in Düsseldorf or Cologne. Um, we're currently developing a 1.5 kilowatt um, turbine at a 7 meters rated wind speed. It's going to produce up to 5, 000, uh, 4,500 kilowatt hours per year. It's suitable for households, um, um, farms, commercial buildings, but we're focusing um, in the beginning of our, of our development on the commercial buildings. Not only supplying green energy, for example, for lighting or refrigerators, but also um, having the, the green image effect, yeah, visualizing the green image of our customers. We have one very interesting pilot project, which we actually signed a couple of weeks ago with a media company, big media company, and it turns out our value proposition is very, very valuable to them. As a company, we focus on developing small wind turbines. We develop the technology. We're also going to develop the whole, the whole turbine um, and going to manufacture the components, purchase the components externally, and also do the sales and marketing effort. Um, in the long run, externally with partners already being established in the photovoltaic community. To give you uh, an overview of what's possible with small wind, and I had many conversations, many discussions during, during these, these very exciting days. Um, household is just one segment, which is the biggest segment is very interesting. Commercial buildings is very interesting, but also in, uh, applications combined with small wind turbines are very, very appealing. For example, street lighting. Developing countries is very exciting because there you substitute uh, diesel generators. E-mobility is a trending topic going to grow uh, in a couple of years massively, and we think we can combine um, charging stations with, with small wind turbines perfectly. And what we also discussed during that days is uh, the vision of virtual power plants, connecting smaller, uh, energy generating devices together with software applications and putting this together in a huge, huge virtual power plan. And it seems that um, the local utility companies and also the EONs uh, who talked yesterday are very interested in such solutions and thinking 10 years ahead. I would like to thank you for, for uh, listening to the presentation and I'm very happy to answer questions.